Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. And something in Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour that I completely forgot about is the fact that we have dual puzzles. We are training. This is our training arc. And then open a bunch of packs and improve our decks so that we stop losing to Joey. Joey is like, Joey's my personal villain in this game. Okay, I'm gonna feel really dumb if this was not the solution. The Penguin's Revenge, I'm excited for whatever that means. If any of you watching got that way faster than me, don't tell me in the comments. We're gonna make this episode a little longer, because I'm gonna clear all these beginner puzzles in it. Whoa, 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 whoa what is happening? <laughs> Heracles Beetle, Crash Crown. Ooh, Judge Man's good. Judge Man is good. I mean, like, relative his getting excited over a one tribute 2200 attacker. Hey all, what is up? Keysby here and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. So, we've got almost enough to buy three more packs. We're trying to get that last rush recklessly and I thought, let's beat Weevil on camera. I hate Weevil. And uh, yeah, I just want to uh, take him out and show it off. Are you for real? You challenging me? The former... There's a grammatical error and it really threw me off in there. You're challenging me, the former Japanese champion? I guess you really want to lose to my insect deck. Fine, I'll crush you in my mandibles. I thought I read that wrong. And that's kind of why I froze up so much, but then my brain was not processing what was happening. So that was fun. Good way to start an episode. Always solid with a great 100% accurate line reading. All right. Ooh, Judgment, our new card. Nice. And we got Jiragumo. Ooh. All right. It's going to tribute that for you at top. Okay. Not a problem. Uh huh. All right. So let's. We're going to set Rope of Life. We're not necessarily going to use it. I don't remember if Weevil also has Jiragumo on his deck. Insect Queen is probably a problem, but we're not going to let him get to Insect Queen. Also, I don't know if he has it this early in the game. So, all right, let's go to the end phase. All right, uh, Tribute Doll. So that's a problem. Ah, you know what? I just need to stop talking. I think that's the secret. Oh. Oh, all right. So first things first, let's stop defense and see what that face down card is. Because if it's man eater bug, we're ooh, <laughs> baby, let's go. All right. I actually think I want to use skull dice here because even if I roll a one, we're okay. And I want to hold that rush recklessly. Oh my god, that was a huge mistake on my part. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> Skull dice. Oh my god. What a mistake on my part. Yep, we're gonna have to rush recklessly. Oh my god. I forgot that Insect Queen had text on it. Isn't that funny? The worst part is if we attacked with Lever first, I actually think that Skull Dice would have cleared by itself. Oh boy. Well, Rope of Life did just get a lot better, so... Oops. <laughs> you know, sometimes we get excited and we make mistakes. And that's just how the game is played. You know, I'm really glad though that I caught on camera the... There's no way he's got Insect Queen this early in the game. And then he immediately summons it, because that's going to... Ooh, alright. Um, I don't want to do this, but we're going to tribute Lever. I just love this card. It's really kind of grown on me. Judge Man. Newest, second newest addition to the deck. Uh, Skull Mark Ladybugs. That's just a life point gain. I keep mixing that with four star Ladybug of Doom, which would have killed the Jiraigumo. So you know what? Now that I'm remembering that card exists, and it's an insect, we're going to attack all our face downs with Jiraguma first. Um, I don't... 
really care. I actually want to lose a bunch of the coin tosses so I get the low life point bonus. I mean, I do, but also I'm kind of scared of losing. Especially after my bold declaration that we were going to beat Weeble. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident, though. All right, let's set this face down. He's got two cards. Rope of Life is offline at the moment, but I don't see him clearing anything by battle. Okay, so let's attack with Jirigumo first, just in case of four-star Ladybug of Doom. Okay. Um, ooh, do we take a chance here? If that's Cocoon of Evolution, we're punished. If it's not, we win. Okay, it's Swarm of Skarm, so we actually can just win this turn. Swarm of Scarabs has an effect when it is flip summoned, not a flip effect. Thankful for that distinction. Alright, I mean, at this point, whatever, it doesn't matter. The coin flips, 2000 is not enough to get us the low life point bonus. But that's okay, because we're winning this turn with Rush Recklessly. Yeah, we really should wait till the damage step to do this, but whatever. I don't think there's any possible interaction that he could have. Besides Karibo, but it's Weevil. He hasn't run Karibo. Whew. All right. All right. That misplay was all part of the plan. It was for entertainment value. All right. Nice. Well, let's go buy some packs. I don't like losing. I hate losing. I despise losing. Let's zip on over to the shop. Uh-oh. Alright, we got a quick shadow game before we can buy some packs. Hey you! How dare you beat my younger brother! I will punish you like no other! Don't be vexed. You know what's up next! Huh? A shadow game! I feel like I should have known that by now. But hey, much better rhyming this time, Para forget if it was one episode ago or two episodes ago we ran into him and he was not rhyming particularly well or it could have been three episodes i forgot we had a training arc Yu-Gi-Oh! nightmare troubadour Yu-Gi-Oh! nightmare troubadour oh that's a hand that's a hand and a half all right i'll take some damage i don't care deal me 600 damage oh you know what jerry kumo's not feeling like such a good card suddenly uh, let's fire off Graceful Charity. Um, we can get rid of Crawling Lizard. And I actually, I hate to do it, but we're going to get rid of Jaragumo. Um, the direct damage thing kind of makes the prospect of constantly halving my life points not feel so great. Okay, so I actually would love him to attempt to go into a Gate Guardian piece because I have Mirror Force for it. And that would be a really nice way to clear both of these giant germs without him hitting me for any damage. So, go ahead, summon two giant germs. See how much I care. Okay, we have a giant germ in hand, it would seem. So let's set one, set two, and pass the turn. I mean, we're still feeling pretty safe right now. Okay. I'm going to assume that's also a giant germ, so we're going to take a nice thousand here, unfortunately, but whatever. Mm, no, I don't want to set honey, honey. I think I just want to clear the field right now. Oh, Sangan, okay. Um, well, giant germ is out on the field, and since he only summoned one, again, I'm really going to assume that there's one in hand. So it's not like he's going to search another one with Sangam. Okay, that doesn't clear anything on my field. And we do have a graceful dice backing us up also, just in case of anything. If I don't want to, like, waste a mirror force on a low attack getting over something. Alright, so far so good. We'll take 500. Ah, no, I feel the pain for real because it's a shadow game I want to see list. Okay. The monsters are real! Alright. Oh! Yeah, no, I'm feeling really good about that decision to, uh... Okay. Hang on now. I 
think. Ooh. Um, 18 and 17, that is 35. 35 and 35 is 7. Okay, so let's set Hane Hane here. That way, no matter what comes out next turn, I'm clear. We'll just bounce it back. And we won't even, technically, we won't even have to summon at that point because we can just hit with Hane Hane to deal the leftover bit of damage. And we have Graceful Dice on top of that. And, like, I know I've been talking a lot of trash about Graceful Dice, but the nice thing about it is, like, and I keep forgetting this whenever I miss game with Graceful Dice. Whenever I miss game with Graceful Dice, there we go, is that it adds it to everything. It's not just, like, a one monster boost. So, like, rolling a two on Graceful Dice, five, three monsters is, like, 600 extra net. Um... Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Um, I think we can't attack this turn. Um, I'm going to summon Flame Cerebrus then, just in case of anything. We do have Copycat as well, but Flame Cerebrus, if he does summon Jiragumo, Graceful Dice just has to roll one to match it. Oh, okay, well this is even more convenient. Hane Hane, do your thing. Bounce him back to the hand, please. Alright, bounce it back, goodbye. Let's go ahead and uh, take this win. Ooh, we got to activate Pot of Greed for the first time in this playthrough. 14 or so episodes in. Ooh, those are nice draws too. Summon La Jin. I also think La Jin's in that first pack. Because I feel like we pulled a bunch of him trying to get Pot of Greed. Or two of him. I would be playing three if we had him. But I think it's time to move on. Oh, wait, you know what? So off screen, because we collected enough of that pack, Solomon actually gave us the card list for that pack specifically. So we can check if Lajin is in there. And he looks like a common. Um, I'm not even going to bother using Graceful Dice. Let's just close this out quickly. Whew. All right, all right. Not really a close one. I don't know why I'm sighing in relief. All right, we're getting close to leveling up, though, so that's good. Shadow game bonus 30. Nice, 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 nice. All right, cool. That's another pack. Oh, no. I lost, like, my bro. I'm late again. Are you hurt? Oh, it's you, Keesby. There's definitely something fishy with this tournament. I'm repeating myself, but the Paradox Brothers were duelists at Pegasus's Island. I have no idea why they're here. If you find anything else that's strange, anything at all, come find me. Gotcha. All right, stay safe. Of course, strange person. I mean, like, so I also like that in this game, like you have no prior knowledge really of who Yugi is. He's just kind of coming off a little bit as a crazy person right now. Um, all right. So. Can I look at the card list? Hang on. I think I have to click this first. Nope, that's the list information. Yeah, I know, we lost to Yami Yugi. Okay, here we go, card list. This is what I want to say. Miracle of Nature. Is Lajin, the mystical genie of the lamp in here? No, I don't think he is. I don't know why I thought he was. Ooh, Sword of Dark Destruction is in there. How have I only pulled one? That might be another, like, super or something, like Pot of Greed was. Alright, um, I'm going to assume that this is the one that had Rush Recklessly, because I bought the most of it. We only need one. Okay. 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 That pack was terrible. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. You know what? That's not terrible. We don't really have a lot of wins, though, but let's keep that in mind, because that's not a bad card. At this stage, at least. All right, here we go. Um, okay, mandating treasure chest would have been... Uh, we can replace one of our... Um, we can place one of our waters with this. That's not bad. Um, is there any reason? No, this is a dual links. We're not running that. Um, let's try this one. I think in theory we could actually save and reason. Ooh. Okay, that's a second gust fan. Ooh, I think we run Karibo just for the flavor. All right, I do want to zero in on darks, I guess. So, all right. Not the best pack opening, but we got some stuff worth doing. And, hey, we beat Weevil, and we won a Shadow game, and it looks like we're getting a little bit more story progression. Yugi keeps talking to us. Are we going to be friends with him? Maybe. Find out next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trabador. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop it a like, and subscribe to Keysby TCG's channel for even more. This has been Yama Yugi, and I will catch you all later.